It was Valentine's Day, and Richard Walker and Denise Cunningham had just had lunch together. Cunningham left, and about an hour later, Walker says he couldn't get a hold of his wife. I got nervous, and I got in my car and left my job, went up to the freeway, and that's when I saw the car. Cunningham had been hit, and she died at the scene. I feel like my soul had been ripped out of my body. At that time, I was like, I have no parents, and that, that just played in my head, and I was alone, and I screamed at the top of my lungs. Investigators say 19-year-old Severio Castillo Hortolano was racing and killed Cunningham. We all want her back, but we can't have her back over some senseless stuff. It's childish. Racing is stupid. And now two families are deeply impacted. He's a kid, too. And um, his mother and his father are never going to be able to hug their child again. And same with me. I'm never going to be able to hug my mother again. Family members of Cunningham describe her as the glue that held them together, and she cared for everyone. Someone you could count on, for sure. She was amazing. She was one of a kind. She was special. She was important. I didn't know that was going to uh, happen like this, but um, <clears throat> it's just off me to make it right now. But um, I'm doing the best I can do to make it. And, uh, you know, we just, she made sure everything was just good, you know. And, uh, and I miss her. I miss her. Portolano is charged with two second degree felonies, manslaughter, and racing on a highway causing death. This is Austin's 11th fatal crash this year. Meredith Aldis, Fox 7 Austin News.